Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone as an accelerometer sensor to the Arduino. We start off with the components here. We have the smartphone with the OneShield app. You have this uh, car chases that you can buy from Amazon or SparkFun, Arduino Uno, Seed Studio, Moro Shield, and the One Shield on top of them. And of course, we have a 9 volt battery to power the motors and the Arduino board with the shields. Okay, now we go to the code itself. Here we're using the accelerometer sensor to control the car. So we include the One Shield library, we include the Motor Shield library as well. And don't worry about the connections between the shield, the motors, and and, uh, and uh, the Arduino Uno, all these connections are described briefly in uh, the description of this video. Now, in the setup, we initialize the One Shield library and the Motor Shield library as well. We set it for full speed. So this is one function of the Motor Shield. It says motor driver dot set speed. 255 is the maximum speed and motor B is the motor on, on, on pin B in the Motor Shield. So if we go right, we go to full speed and if we go left, we go in full speed as well. In the loop, we check on the accelerometer data. So here we have the Y axis and the X axis. The Y represent right or left and the X axis represents if you go forward or backward. So we check if the data of the Y axis to be more than two, you go right and if it's less than negative two, you go left. So basically when you tilt it to the left direction, the car will move left. And the same goes with the x-axis. If it's less than negative two, you go forward. If it's more than two, you go backward. And here we're making an exception. So if the data of the x-axis is less than two and the data of the y-axis is also less than two, and this is absolute, we don't want also for uh, the negative values. So if I tilt, if I bend uh, the smartphone in like slightly bend it, I don't want the car to move. I, I really want it to move when I, when I turn uh, the accelerometer data more than a value of two. All right. Now back to the app and uh, the car. So we connect the nine volt battery to the Arduino there, and we scan for uh, the one shield over Bluetooth. Of course, if it's uh, your first time uh, connecting to the one shield, it will ask you for a password, which is usually one, two, three, four. Now it's connected. We open the accelerometer sensor. All right, and as you see here, this is the data. So here we go left and we go right. All right, this is backward and forward. Okay, left, forward, backward, left, right, and that's it. So you see how easy it is to use your smartphone with the Arduino? Now imagine what else can you do? You have a camera shield, GSM, voice recognition, all of these you can use with the Arduino. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you do have any question, feel free to ask it on our forum and feel free to share your projects with us on our website. Thank you very much.